we're out on the road finally after almost a year and a half, and we're having fun. We're we're playing better than we ever did. I think we got rested up, and then we rehearsed for oh intensely for a couple of weeks, and we came right out of the gate ready to go. Yeah, it's so awesome to see concerts coming back and all the bands hitting the road. It's a beautiful thing. But speaking about quarantine. I'm like a lot of the world. During that whole experience, one thing that I done was stay inside, sit on the couch, and watch TV. And one show that I really got into was a show on Netflix called Ozark. And for those who haven't checked out the show, y'all had a special appearance during last year's season. And I was not expecting to see Ario Speedwagon on Ozark. How did all of that come about? You know... I, I'm I, I'm pretty sure our manager pulled that off, but but um, when I heard about it, I mean we were on season two, I guess, and and um, that had already been like my favorite show on Netflix. My wife and I would binge episodes of that show till late hours, and. All of a sudden, the uh, management calls up and says, you guys are going to actually be in an episode of Ozark. And I totally freaked out. And some of the guys hadn't seen it. And I said, you got to go watch it right now. Watch every episode to see what a good show we're going to be on. And it was just really fun. I mean, it, it, um, it took half a day to do it. And we got to hang out with Jason Bateman, who is just a really nice guy. He's been in this acting business his whole life. So uh, he's pretty normal. And um, uh, it was just so much fun. And, and, uh, and, um, and then watching it, that was just really a treat. Well, I got to say that I'm glad that they didn't kill y'all off like they do every other character on that show. I'm glad that y'all stuck oh. around for the entire episode. Yeah, well, maybe they kill us off in season three. I don't know. We're, we haven't found out. But uh, I think that's going to be our only appearance. It was, it was tied in the first two episodes of that season. They're talking about they have a big private convention of dentists who want REO Speedwagon. So, you know, we got, we got some name drops there uh, in the first two episodes. And then... <laughs> There's a great yeah. line where Marty goes up to his boss among the drug cartel and he says, I just laundered $100,000 at an REO Speedwagon concert. <laughs> so we're, always, we're always glad to help a poor guy launder $100,000, you know. Although it hasn't happened in reality, but um, yeah, that was great. 